hey guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video um we'll be cooking i'll be cooking a matter of fact we'll be cooking some jamaican red pea soup but before we get into this video don't forget to like share and subscribe tell a friend tell to tell their mother them grandmother them grandfather everybody them know to come subscribe to your girl's channel over here on the stove we have um our pea is pressuring so while that is pressuring i'm going to prepare the other necessary ingredients that we'll need for this pea. now let's get into this video so guys i'm going in with some flour we're gonna make um our dumpling so i'm not gonna make a lot Going in with the flour. This is the amount we have. Don't want to make too much because we don't want the food to waste. And um, now we're gonna add um some of um some cornmeal to our flour. There you have it. We have our flour combining the ingredients together and then we're gonna um, make the dough okay and um guys i'm just gonna <laughs> tell you a little story time while i'm here needing this lower okay i like to um need my flour with um salt water so i have some salt water here then I'm going to use to combine the ingredients together. So, quick story time. I started cooking from about the age of about 10, 11, around them years there. And um, I remember, this is how my mom needs um, her flour. So, one day, I decided to do it this way. This is not how my dad taught me to do it. But I decided to do it this way because it's less messy on your hands and all. So I remember I was using the spoon to knead the flour and my dad came in and gave me a piece of walking because me use it the um spoon to knead the flour and he wanted me to do it in more the original way with your hand. But this is how I saw my mom do it and you know to avoid the unnecessary mess on my hands i started to um use a spoon to knead it and even though my dad beat me we don't use a spoon to knead the flour guess what girls still do i still use a spoon to knead the flour up to today there spoon. Yeah. So guys, there you have it. Dough, well made. Didn't use a lot of water, but I like to use salt water. That also helps with preventing it from salting the food. So, dough is all together. We're going to prepare the other ingredients before we um, check on the piece to see if it's cooked. Okay guys, so here I have some yellow yam that I peeled and freeze. 
Um, then we have some um, Jamaica call it tall yam or white yam, I guess. And uh, we have a corn and sweet potato with some Irish also. So we're gonna um, clean these and separate them for the um. So guys, here we have our yam, our corn, sweet potato, and Irish potato, and we're gonna put them in a pot right now.
So guys, um, we're gonna mix this, uh, mix everything together. Make sure it's not sticking at the bottom. And then we're gonna add our coconut milk and um, cock soup mix to the pot. And guys, we're going in with our coconut milk. I use some of the, um, the soup water to mix the coconut milk. It's actually a coconut powder. I don't have any. This is the one that I always use the coconut um, powder in the um, the Kendall brand. So I'm gonna use that. I may have to go in with another one. I don't like too much. Um, I have not added any um, salt or anything to this as yet. After I go in with my cock noodles, then I will have the um, taste to see, and then I'll have um, any necessary salt that is needed for flavor. And we're looking good so far. So guys, we're going in with our cocktail mix. I don't want the noodles, so what I did is um, mix the water, throw some water on it, and um, see was straining because I don't want to add the noodles to it. So that pepper, just the flavor. I don't like spicy food. I hardly use pepper. Look at the richness, guys. So now we're gonna um, let this go and cook. Finish the pan. Then we'll come back with the finishing. Oh, okay guys. Coming down to the nitty gritty. So almost finished. Just gonna make it go on um boil some more. Within the next um 20 minutes we'll be done. 